Hi everybody. This vehicle is a 2012 Chevy Equinox and we're having a problem with the blower motor. Sometimes it'll turn off and sometimes it won't turn back on for a while. Other times we turn it on and we hear this terrible noise and that's what it's doing right now. So if I turn this fan speed up You can hear it making a clicking sound. And oh boy, it really stinks coming out of these vents. Oh boy, that really smells. So it does work, but like I said, sometimes it won't work. And, ooh, man, that really stinks bad. It has that burnt motor smell, and it's also making a clicking sound. So, time for a new blower motor. Now, before I go tearing into this motor... You know, I always like to check service information first. And I have a couple different papers to go through. First, I check the labor time, which in this case shows me parts and labor. So there's the factory part number for the blower motor and factory list price and labor time, which is coming up at a half hour. And that's about right. Then second thing I did was I pulled the service information for how to replace the blower motor itself. And you can see here, it shows a drawing of the HVAC case and the blower motor. And it looks like there's only three screws that hold it in. And of course we have an electric connector too. Uh, but down in the notes, it says, first thing you have to do is remove the IP insulator panel. So I went and got the drawing for that in the instructions. Uh, and there's actually one little problem with this. It shows the kick panel, which is cool. And it shows there's two screws holding it in. But in this case, there's actually three. So the drawing only shows the two up front, but back here on the left side, there's one extra screw. If we take a look under here, here's the kick panel that has to be removed. You got one screw up here on the left, another screw here on the right, and all the way down here in the back left, there's one more screw that has to come out right there so just keep that in mind because when i first went to take this panel out i pulled the two front screws thinking that it would be just like this drawing and i was almost going to try to pull it out thinking that maybe these plastic tabs in the back were holding it in when i reached down and felt around and found out that there's an additional screw holding it in so definitely don't want to damage anything and knowing this can help All right, and there's one more screw all the way back here in the corner that goes straight up and it's not on the drawing. So I'll just have to get that with a seven millimeter and a quarter inch driver. There it is, just a little screw.
Oh yeah, this is all covered in dust under here. So here's the original motor. And there's quite a bit of motor dust on the outside of this casing. Uh, which makes sense because this motor is really stinky. So whatever's breaking down, if it's the bearing or the bushing surfaces or whatever uh, on the blower drive, that dust is making its way out getting on the outside of the case here so all right yep quarter inch everything else on this car is metric and yet you put standard hardware on this okay you know what let me disconnect this connector power connector first Much better to get that off now. All right. Here's the motor screw. And then there should be one more right here. That's too short. Alright. Is that actually... Oh, no, there's a clip. Alright, you get a screwdriver and I'll pop that clip off. I should have done this before I loosen the motor. Maybe I can do it by hand. <clears throat> Trying to do it without hurting my fingers. There we go. Okay. Alright, so get this out of here. Alright, so there's the clip that holds the cable up onto the blower motor. It just goes into one of the plastic fins and it's just a metal retaining clip. And then it has a cable strap. It has a zip tie cable strap wrapped around it. So pretty simple. It's actually a pretty nice clip. While we're here, let's take a look up inside the blower motor case. So there's the cabin air filter. There's a whole bunch of black dust on the face of it there. So as part of this service, I'm gonna wanna change that filter just to help get rid of some of the stinky smell. Let's go look around up inside the HVAC case.
So here's the new motor I'm gonna install on the right. And this is the box for it. So it's a Four Seasons. Uh, I picked it up on Amazon for about 50 bucks. And it's basically the same as the factory motor here, except the factory motor has the electric connector built right into the side of the case where the replacement motor has a pigtail here. So no big deal. That's pretty typical for these aftermarket motors. Um, but feels okay. Spins good. It's quiet. Should be all right. This factory motor, surprisingly, is pretty quiet when I spin it by hand. But, of course, you can't really go by that because, you know, spinning the motor by hand and spinning it electrically are two different things. You know, when you have electric current being applied to the brushes to power a motor, uh, it kind of tweaks the motor shaft a little bit differently than when you're doing it by hand. So even though I'm not feeling any wobbling in the motor shaft, there's still definitely something wrong with the brush area. Uh, let's see if we can get it on the camera here. Let's look down inside this air passage and you can see all the way down there is the brushes. And they are and they are pretty worn. And um, it's not even really the, it's not even really that copper area that I'm concerned with, uh, but it's all that, you know, kind of gray, dark gray, black dust from where the brushes have worn. And it's just all over the motor. So I mean, if we compare the two, I mean, this one's new, obviously, but you know, the fins are very clean. Where the old motor, there's motor dust all over it. I think it's really on the inside of the blade. Yeah, there we go. It's all this motor dust that's everywhere. It just has a really terrible smell. So that plus the noise and the motor doesn't turn on all the time. The motor needs to be replaced. So out with the old and in with the new. All right, so put the new motor in now. All right, it should stay temporarily while I get the screws. Here's what the screws look like. All right, there we go. Now that's in. You can make this electric connection. Yeah, how am I gonna do this so the wires stay nice? I'll just do it like that. That'll tuck up there pretty good. And then, see if I can get this clip to hold on somewhere. Yep, good. Pull it right up. All right, cool. 
Now there's that's in place. But here's what that kick panel looks like. And it's got these two holes here that use the two large screws. And then this smaller screw goes in this hole here. So that's the trick for getting it out because the drawing only shows these two and it doesn't show you there's one there. Now in the back, there's two plastic tabs and the one just is a flat plastic tab by itself. The other one has a metal retaining clip on it. So that one's a little bit more difficult to remove. Here's what the bottom side looks like. And in some of the parts drawings, they call this a kick panel. And in other drawings, they call it a hush panel because it has this, you know, white, I guess it's like a, kind of like a diaper actually, like a white foam cloth. Uh, but that is there as insulation to quiet the noise from the blower motor. Now, before I put the cover back on, I want to test that motor. And I want to make sure that I check every blower speed. So, oh, that is much better. You hear how fast that came on? Cool. Well, now the motor is in, I can put the kick panel back on. So first I'm gonna line up the two tabs in the back and stick them in. And then I can line up the rest of it. So I'm gonna put the long screws up front first because they're easy for me to get to. I can kind of hold the panel up, hold it up in position first. Alright, and then before I tighten those, I'll put the little screw up here. Or at least that's started. Okay, I'll tighten these up. 
And then that one I have to do by hand. All right. Now, one thing to note, even though the fan's been replaced, the smell isn't completely gone. <laughs> it's not as strong as it used to be, but I'm definitely still smelling a bit of that burnt motor smell. But I think if I take this out for a drive with the windows open and the fan on high, I think it'll blow a lot of that dust out of the vents and clean up the smell pretty quickly. Let's just take a look real quick at the finished product. So now the plastic cover, the kick panel or the hush panel is now installed. One screw there, another screw here. And of course that elusive third hiding screw back up there. And of course the two plastic tabs, one there and one there with the metal clip. All right, so there you have it. Replacing the blower motor in a 2012 Chevy Equinox. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.